coming home from work today. Um, this parcel was sitting there waiting for me. I've got um, a fellow collector friend of mine who is uh, wanting to trade for a specific Mego item that he knows I've got a double of and offered me a collector case full of Star Wars figures. You know, without seeing what was in it, um, I committed to the trade and when the parcel arrived and I got home today, my wife suggested I should do an unboxing video. So let's have a look at this old um, vintage Star Wars collector's case that's apparently full of figures. And it's a, it's a C-3PO case. And the, oh, well, the figures aren't inside it. There's a plastic wrap just next to it. So it's, that's not, not too bad of a C-3PO collector's case there. A few stickers on here. Um, I'm going to do a video soon on, uh, I've got a, a very neat trick for getting um, price tags off, actually off off carded figures and uh, mint boxed items um, using eucalyptus oil and a cotton bud. Um, I'll do a video on that soon. Uh, so there's a few stickers on here but I think they're going to come off alright. A few uh, scuff marks but not not too bad. I think when I when I polish it up, we have a look inside there. There's oh, a couple of original Star Wars weapons. We don't want to lose them. There's the um, the uh, the Emperor's walking cane, and I see an Imperial blaster in here. That's very cool, Imperial blaster. So as you can see, most of the uh, most of the labels have already been been stuck on. This is a Return of the Jedi one, as I can see from from this label here, Star Wars Return of the Jedi. So yeah, not a bad Star Wars. I, if I, I don't even own one of them. I've never owned one of these. I've got a nice um, Darth Vader one. But yeah, that's that's not too bad. I'm quite happy with that. So let's let's have a look at what we've got in in this bag of bits. A double wrapped bag of bits. Well, I can already see there's already a lot of the labels have, have fallen off that he's included them. This looks to me like um, possibly a, a childhood collection where everything was put into one um, collector's case and has probably stayed like that for quite a while. And so the Bespin sticker, one of my favourite figures. Right, let's start taking a look at these figures. So we've got a Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight. He's actually, he's a little bit sticky. I'm not sure what that is, whether it's been from being in the bag, whether he's actually got something on him. But he, he, uh, man, he actually looks very clean, very tight limbs. And uh, it stands reasonably well. So maybe this stickiness may be through the whole bag because this figure is pretty sticky as well. But it's the, uh, the the Gamma Ring Guard from from Jabba's Palace. Um, apart from being sticky, both of these figures are in really good condition. I'm um, I'm getting quite excited for what else is in here. Um, you'll have to forgive me. I am not an Ewoks lover, so all I can tell you is that's an Ewok. I don't know which one. That Wicket is about the only one I can actually recognise. But again, very good condition. He's got his um, his removable headdress, his um, his horn. Um, I'm pretty sure he would have come with another accessory to, to hold in his hand. What that was, I'm, I don't know. Very cool, very cool. So, as we found the uh, the Emperor's walking cane, 
we now have the Emperor, and he's actually in fantastic condition. I mean, there's not a lot to this figure, but there's no paint rub on the nose. His, his joints are nice and tight. Let's give him his walking cane. Uh, there we go. There's the Emperor. That looks great. Um, this looks like one half of 21B, the medical droid. Looks like the back piece there. That may be a restoration video coming up. So, here's an Ewok spear. Um, looking from the colour used on the plastic, I don't believe it's from this guy. So we'll just keep that there for now. A Hoth Rebel Soldier, another one. This is, these are fantastic condition figures, really good condition. Nice tight joints, absolutely no paint rubs whatsoever. That's, that's really good. Empire is my favourite film, like most people, so um, it's nice to see an Empire figure come out at last. Here we have another Ewok, and it's not Wicked, so I don't know his name. Ah, I said about the sticker, it was my, one of my favourite figures, and here we have Bespin Han. I wouldn't say he's perfect, but close to it. There's a few paint chips off his hand, a couple off his... Um, off his uh, the, the fringe on his hair there, but a little bit of black paint worn off. But other than that, very nice tight limbs. None of these toys look like they were, were really played with. But now we're getting cool. Now we're getting very cool. The cornerstone of every Imperial Army, the Stormtrooper. Arms are nice and tight, legs are a little bit loose. This figure looks like it's probably a little bit older than the rest. Uh, it's a little bit dirtier than the rest, but I should be able to clean him up, maybe touch up a little bit of the black paint, and um, in fact, let's give him that Imperial Blaster. So let's see if he stands on his own with his loose legs, and he does, and he can stand there next to the Emperor with his blaster. Fantastic. So, how do you pronounce this? Nee Num, something like that. I just called him Lando's co pilot. Another good condition figure. The Biker Scout. A great figure. I've actually got a nice, uh, a nice speeder bike that is missing the pilot, so I'm very happy to have, uh, to have acquired him. Squidhead from Java's Palace. Or he could always be used as um, Davy Jones from Pirates of the Caribbean. Very nice. As I said, Empire are my favourite figures. Um, this is the... Uh, 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 Atat Commander, I, I believe. Um, I've got a beautiful Atat. Well, I think it's beautiful. Uh, I've got a nice um, Atat, vintage Atat vehicle. It has a driver. He's going to go perfectly in there. I can't. Uh, these are really good condition figures. I'm very, very lucky. A Death Squad Commander, one of the first 12. Very, very happy with him. He's fantastic condition as well, but once it gets sticky, all these figures. Are sticky so let's let's continue on we've got um, uh, Empire backpack for Bespin Luke I prefer to call him Dagobah Luke when he's wearing this um, so this is the backpack that he carried Yoda around him during his Jedi training uh, quite unusually in here for a set with no vehicles we have a pair of legs from the uh, ramp into the Millennium Falcon uh, my Millennium Falcon is complete, but I'm sure someone somewhere is looking for these. So the um, the backpack that Chewbacca wore and carried um, C-3PO, removable limb C-3PO. In fact, we have Chewbacca, who well was always one of my favourite uh, Star Wars figures as a kid. It was one of the first ones I ever got. Uh, this one's in fantastic condition. It's still got all the uh, paint on his teeth, the eyes, 
nice tight joints. So it um, doesn't look like there's a removable MC3PO in here. If there was, the backpack would be on, the C3PO would be in there. Right, a few more of these stickers that have got absolutely everywhere. I don't know what we're going to do with all these. Now, that's a nice piece there. Obviously, as most collectors know, original Star Wars accessories are worth way more than the actual figures that they go on most of the time. Um, so in this particular instance, um, while not a very rare figure, the, the Gamma Ring Guard from Jabba's Palace, not worth very much on his own, still not worth that much with his weapon, but it has increased the value considerably by having his original weapon, the axe. So I'm um, very happy with that. Uh, Bib Fortuna, looks I don't know where his staff is, I haven't seen his staff yet, that may still be in there yet. In fact, that may be his staff, I'll have to check. Because that may be a complete Bib Fortuna. Ah, one of my favourite figures, again. I have a soft spot for the Empire guys. This slight little yellowing on his arms and legs, but this is the, um, the Hoth Stormtrooper. Um, one of my favourite figures. And no, no accessories from the looks of things, but um, I'll get him sorted out. I'll get him decked out with... Um, uh, I may have a replacement weapon or a replacement cape for him. I'll, I'll have to have a look and get him. Um, and he can actually join the ATAP commander and be one of the troops in the ATAP. So I've got a very small possible weapon here. Um, I'm not even familiar with this, but until I know what it is, it won't be going anywhere. I'll be hanging on to that. A couple more stickers. So, and it looks to me like, yeah, I've almost got, so there was the back of two on B, the medical droid. There is the front and the head. One arm, two arm, two legs, breather pipe. So apart from his medical probe accessory, I don't know what you call it, um, we have a complete two on B. Excellent. I, I could be wrong, I think that's a turret gun off the ATST Walker. Another sticker, another, another Ewok, again no accessory for his hand, and again I don't know his, I must apologise, I'm not an Ewok fan, I'm not dissing Ewoks if you do like them, um, I'm not personally a fan, I've never really taken the time to learn all their names. As I said, the only one I really know is, is Wicket because it's played by Warwick Davis and I'm a fan of Warwick Davis. So, it seems like I've got the last couple of stickers here. And last couple of figures here, we have the Rebel Commando, very very nice, I wish he had his rifle, doesn't look like he does. And Lando skiff guard, no weapon, no helmet. And probably, I would say the, the, the pick of the whole bunch here, this is a very, very nice Yoda figure with his original cloth cape and his original belt. He's just missing the walking stick and the snake. But that would have to be the pick of the bunch. Um, two on B, lots of pieces there. That may be another restoration video, but um, I'm going to give these guys a, a wash to try and get this sticky residue off them, but not actually to clean. I think the only one that needs cleaning is possibly the Stormtrooper. Um, but I'll give these guys a clean up. I'll replenish them with as many of the original weapons that I have spare. I may have to use a couple of repros here and there just to, uh, to make them look the part. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to come back later um, with a finished photograph of this collection all decked out nice and neat. And there we have it, all together. Um, 
Unfortunately, by no means um, all original. I've had to substitute quite a few um, repro weapons, even uh, Jedi Knight Luke. That's a, a reproduction cape, and I've got a, uh, a bundle of repro weapons and, and capes that I just used to fill uh, <coughs> figures out, but I always keep track of um, what's reproduction and what isn't. Um, couldn't fill out all of the figures. I didn't, uh, you know, Lando doesn't have a mask, Chewbacca doesn't have a weapon. Um, Rebel Commando, which I think is quite a nice nice figure there. He doesn't have his rifle. But um, all in all, out, out of the whole lot, um, uh, Bib Fortuna was complete. The Emperor was complete. Um, Stormtrooper was complete. Gamma Ring Guard was complete. They're all in very, very good condition and not a bad trade for a uh, original Mego Iron Man figure from the 70s. So I'm, I'm pretty happy. It was a double I had anyway, so... Yeah, stay tuned for the next video.